A court has ordered Thailand's largest pro-democracy opposition party to disband. The Move Forward Party took the most seats in last year's general election and remains popular, so the order could trigger a backlash from supporters. The Constitutional Court ruled that the party's campaign pledged to amend the royal defamation law had the intention to undermine the monarchy and could lead to the overthrow of the democratic regime headed by the king. The law makes it illegal to insult the royal family. The court also barred Pita Lim Zerun Rad and other party leaders from any political activities for 10 years. It's like the court doesn't see the importance of the party representing the people they work for. It's like they don't see the importance of the people's voice. I don't think the party will fade from people's minds. It may be dissolved, but will remain in our hearts. The Move Forward Party won over young voters with its promise to amend the royal defamation law and end the military's influence in politics. But it was locked out of the coalition government and became an opposition party. In January, the Constitutional Court ruled the party's bid to amend the law was unconstitutional. Then in March, the Election Commission asked the court to disband the Move Forward Party. For more, we are joined by our reporter who covered the story, Ganbadi Ngamtit. Ganbadi, the party is now facing dissolution. So what are the reactions from the party members and voters? Well, the party's former leader, Pita Limjaranat, left the court without answering any questions from the reporters. Well, but the party did post a comment on its Facebook page. It says, despite the court order, it is moving forward by order of the people. At the Move Forward Party headquarters, several hundred supporters gathered to hear the ruling. When it was announced, many said they couldn't accept it. But so far, there don't seem to be any massive protests in Bangkok against the ruling. The party attracted voters with pledges to end economic inequality and military conscription and also reform the royal defamation law. But these policies created tensions with conservatives in the parliament and the Move Forward Party couldn't join the coalition government. But still, the party maintains its popularity with an approval ratings of almost 50%. So what's next? Are there going to be no political parties with a pro-democratic agenda like the Move Forward Party? Um, yeah. Despite the dissolution order, the party's policies seem to be remain. That's because an executive of the Move Forward Party said last month that she was preparing to establish a new party after the dissolution. And the new party will carry on the policies of Move Forward. But the dissolution order is certainly a heavy blow to Thailand's pro-democracy camp. An expert says the order not only has the potential to create political tensions, but also undermine democracy itself. The dissolution of the Move Forward Party is one of the phenomenon damaging the development of Thai democracy. It makes it harder to connect with people in terms of policies, carry out checks and balances, and reflect the needs of the people. When a predecessor's party was dissolved in 2020, university students took on the streets to protest. The possibilities of another demonstration cannot be ruled out, uh, but we need to keep a close eye on how the public and other political parties will react. Thank you very much, Gambadi. Anushke Rose, Gambadi, Ngamchit.